Okay, the first thing we need to do is to go to the openstreetmap.org website. And then the fir first thing you want to do is log in. And if you don't have an account, you can create an account as well with the link just above. Or I guess you have to take ours up there. Or sign up. Okay. Now, this is uh, uh, roughly the, in the center have the Pakistan uh, centered in, in, the, in the screen. The first thing we want to do is um, find a district where we want to go and map villages. And uh, there's a spreadsheet available the with the names with the names of uh, with the names of the villages containing uh, which were affected by the names of the districts that were affected by the floods. Uh, and uh, we can go and find one. So there's one called Multan. By putting that into the search, and we'll come up with a bunch of search results. So ideally, we want to go to the one that says the district. Yeah. And there's our Multan district, which is in Punjab. Yeah. 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 Now you want to uh, go near the uh, center of the the, the river. Because um, the Pakistan is um, has the Indus River flowing through it, which is which is what the region that was affected by the floods. So we'll zoom in close to the river until our edit tab becomes activated. That edit tab there. So once it's activated, we can turn it on, and we'll be get we'll get asked if we want to edit with save or edit with with live. Uh, we want to edit with save. Now, we have the background map from the Defense Mapping Agency loading up automatically. Um, if you don't have this set up, you'll need to set that up first. So to do that, you need to click on the options. And in the options, there's a custom section, and there you need to paste this URL. Once you're happy with that, make sure the fade background is turned off. And you can enter your credentials for Twitter. Uh, if you have an account, although we've been having some issues with that lately, and press OK. Now we're ready to actually start doing adding villages. Now the villages are represented by that particular font. Uh, their name, their name, we're using that font, and uh, their center is donated by the circles. So to add a village, we need to double click until the point becomes green and select it as yellow. And then down here we see uh, the location of the um, the tab the, the tags that need to be that can be added to the OpenStreetMap database. So we'll uh, toggle through until we find uh, the the preset that looks like buildings. Drop down the menu and pick village. Now we know that this particular area uh, village is in Punjab, so we can add in the district in the province of Punjab. So we can say that. Uh, and now we can name it. Now the name comes from the label on the map itself. Uh, once we're happy with that, we need to add one more uh, tag, which is the source. We need to acknowledge that this data comes from the US Defense Mapping Agency, so you, we use D USDMA for short. And once we're done with that, we can go, and go ahead and press Save to upload the data. Uh, and we'll ask you if you want to add a comment, so we can just add a useful comment like added villages. And we can also, we're also using a hashtag to say that we did this at the Sydney Crisis Camp, CC6. Press OK. And once it's saved, um, we'll get that yellow sign. Having mapping.